This is a video on how to make the naan. The naan is just like the quad. The only difference is the quad is a 2x2, two two, the naan is a 3x3. Three three. So while the quad uses four pieces of gimp, the naan uses six. So if you try the non and you find it too difficult, go and try the quad first and make this and then come back and do the non. Let's get started. You will need six pieces of gimp that are all the same length. Mine are each five feet long. Start by taking one of your pieces and bend it at its center and then drop that over your finger. Take the strand at the back, wrap it around to make a second loop. Take another piece and bend it at its center, drop that over your finger, take the strand at the back, wrap it around to make a second loop. Take a third piece, bend it at its center, drop it over your finger, take the strand at the back, and wrap it around to make a second loop. Take another piece and bring it under all six of these loops. and then pull it through until you reach its center. Take the strand on the left and bring it across the top of your finger going over under, over under, and over under. Then take the strand on the right and bring it across the bottom of your finger going over under, over under, and over under. Now pull those strands down on your finger so you can make room to do the same thing again above. And take another piece of gimp and bring it under all of your loops. and pull it through until you reach its center. And then with this one we'll take the strand on the left, bring it across the top, going over under, over under, over under, and we'll take the strand on the right and bring it across the bottom, going over under, over under, and over under.
and then push down those strands to make room for your last piece of gimp. And take your last piece and at the top of your finger run it under all six loops. And pull it through until you reach its center. Then we'll do this process again. Take the strand on the left, bring it across the top, going over under, over under, and over under. And take the strand on the right, bring it across the bottom, going over under, over under, over under. Then slowly take the whole thing off your finger and tighten the strands. And now, you officially started. Now that you've started, doing the stitch is just like doing the quad stitch. The only difference is that you have one extra strand on each side.
and just keep repeating that until you're ready to finish. So I'm now ready to finish and I'm going to finish this lanyard European style which means using super glue to finish it. Super glue is dangerous if you use it incorrectly so if you are under 18 you need to have an adult with you to do this part. If you don't want to use super glue you can finish American style which involves taking the strands and bringing them up through the hole at the center and you can watch my video on the quad stitch finishing to see how to do that. It's the same thing as this but it's a 2x2 two two instead of a 3x3. Three three. Now with this lanyard with my starting stitch I have a lot of slack in the, the first stitch that I can add a keychain to so I'm not going to create a hole for a keychain at the top. I'm just going to add super glue straight on as it is. And then I'll let that sit for 15 minutes and then cut off the strands at the end. So now my glue has dried and I've cut off the ends. I've also added a keychain ring to the bottom so I can use it for a keychain. And that is it.